हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल नॉडी नॉडी इज़ द नेम सो आई एम बैक विथ अनदर वीडियो दैट इज कन्वर्जन टू पोला फॉर्म गिवन आर क्वेश्चन इज इन द रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू द पोलार फॉर्म इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन पोलार टू रेक्टेंगुलर कन्वर्जन सो एज वी नो दिस इज अ रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म एंड दिस इज द पोलार फॉर्म राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट टू रेक्टेंगुलर टू पोलार फॉर्म दैट इज यूजिंग आर कैसियो कैलकुलेटर एफ एक्स नाइंटी नाइन वन ई कैलकुलेटर राइट ओके सो लेट्स स्टार्ट दिस इज आर क्वेश्चन फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन आई सेम थिंग वॉट वी डिड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो शिफ्ट पोल राइट नाउ आर क्वेश्चन इज फाइव एंड फिफ्टीन सो फाइव कामा फिफ्टीन क्लोज द ब्रैकेट यू गेट द आंसर दैट इज सी You write here that is R and theta we got right. R is equals to fifteen point eight one one and R theta value is seventy one point five six right. That was easy. In the previous uh, previous uh, video what we did we do we converted from uh, polar to uh, rectangular right. So for that shift. Correct. Whatever answer we want, no. So that you have to uh, press. That means like here we need polar, right? Polar form, right? So make sure that shift pole, pole of what? Pole of the given question, right? Now that is minus six and minus seven. So minus six sh shift comma minus seven. Close the bracket. We got see here. That is uh, R is uh, nine point. Uh, Two one and our theta will be minus thirty point. Uh, we can write it like this also, like our uh, our angle theta that is nine point two one angle minus one thirty point six zero degrees. Right? Anyway, it is correct. Now another question is shift pole. Right? Shift pole. Uh, the question is. Four point five shift <coughs> comma six. <coughs> okay, so that is equals to our question. Um, okay, R is equals to seven point five, and what did we get theta? That is fifty three point one three zero, right? So this is this is very simple. This is conversion to polar form. In the next video, we are going to see how to solve two given equations, like uh, linear equations, right? If we have two equations and we have two unknowns, a and b, or x and y, how we are going to find those unknown values? Two variables, two unknown variables, or three unknown variables, right? So, depending upon the number of equations, uh, we will uh, know how many unknown variables are there, right? So we are going to use same the same uh, Casio calculator uh, to find that unknown um, equations. Thank you very much.